Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands for Hey Little Magpie DT. For this process video I'm sharing with you a layout that I've made using the Pink Fresh Studio Let's Stay Home range. In particular the Better Things Are Ahead paper. I love the rainbow squares on this paper and I really wanted to make something with it. So I cut all the squares out uh, and kept them in their colour groups and then I cut them into triangles. Now you'll find that I fast forwarded this video because you really don't want to watch me make this in real time. I'm a very slow scrapper normally. So what I've done on the white cardstock, I've um, lightly drawn some pencil lines with a ruler across the white to give me an idea where to put these triangles to create some chevrons. As you can see as I build up more and more of the stripes that I've started with the darker colours on the right going to the um, paler colours on the left to create like an ombre effect. So each colour I, I lay down on the paper first just to be sure I've chosen the right ones and then I start to stick them down. I start from the middle each time just so I can try and keep them all so that each chevron is in line with the other ones. I do apologise for my hair that keeps appearing in the screen. It, the, as you can see the cardstock is getting nearer and nearer to me as I glue these down. I've used a wet glue just to make sure that they do stay in place. So once they're down, they're down. So just putting the last colour down. I've kept the stripes in the same colour as they were, in the same order, should I say, as they were on the original paper. So once I've stuck them all down, I've trimmed down the edge with my big trimmer off camera. And I've used the little triangles that are left just to stick onto the cardstock on the edges to make like the chevrons are going off the page. And I don't know what I did to that blue one, but uh, there were some extra triangles left over and I cut myself a new one. So I'm just gluing these into place now just to finish off um, these chevrons. So as I say, there were some extra triangles left over, so I could have changed the colours if I wanted. So I've now got myself my photograph and I've got a few papers from the 6x6 pad. I'm just distressing the edges with the um, Prima tool, distressing tool, and I'm going to use these to mat underneath my photograph. Now I'll tell you now, this isn't a photograph of one of my children. It's of a colleague's um, son who was only a tiny dot when he was born. But the blanket covering him whilst he was in hospital, I made for him. So I wanted to record this. I'm using these puffy letter stickers from the Pink Fresh Studio Let's Stay Home range. They're lovely. I wish I'd bought more of them actually because they're so good. I've spelt the word baby in blue because it is a little boy in the photograph. And I've spelt the word rainbow using uh, different colours. Now you can see the paper's changed. I've changed the orientation as it suddenly dawned on me. It'd be nice to have the chevrons running in the same direction as the blanket. I don't know why that didn't come to me before as this layout was made specifically, the background was made specifically for this photograph. Also, um, the eagle-eyed of you will notice that there's some white sewing between each chevron. I did that off camera, um, just to add a little bit of texture to the background. I felt it needed something and it took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do. And to be honest, I didn't want to spoil it, having spent so much time sticking down all the triangles. So I'm looking at getting my photo in position. I'm now looking at bits and pieces to go around it. I don't want to cover too much of the chevron, as um, as I say, as it's taken a while. So I've been, I've been through all the bits and pieces in this range, and I've dug out ones that either have got sentiments that would suit the picture, or love hearts on. Even this row, this range was about um, staying home during the pandemic. Um, there's lots and bits and pieces in it that could be used to scrap other things. And that's exactly what I've enjoyed doing that, actually. I have made some COVID layouts um, with this range, but I have used enjoyed using this for something else. Those bits and pieces I've just dropped on the desk, they're foam pads. I tend to buy mine on a roll and cut them to size. So consequently, I end up with lots of bits and pieces that are partially cut. I keep them on a bowl in my desk, and when I can for something like this with little fiddly bits, I try and use them up. It just leaves lots of bits of backing um, that end up usually underneath my desk, uh, clogging up the hoover, but uh, I do like using them up. So this journaling card with its rainbow hearts fits perfectly and gives a great place for my title to sit. 
as I mentioned earlier, I'm not a fast scrapper. I do enjoy the process, so I've got all these bits and pieces. I'll keep trying them out, deciding where I think they might go. Anything that makes it onto the right-hand side, onto the white, doesn't make the cut. Um, I'm just thinking it through, trying them out, and uh, working out what, what I would like. You might notice there's no journaling on this, no details. Well, they're all going to go on the back. That's something I do quite a bit. I want to remember who's in the photograph, why I made it, what I made it with. So I tend to write that on the back so in the future I can find all the details. I'm, I, because I do it quite often, I'm quite used to pulling out layouts from my album just to see what it says on the back. Uh, and if there's nothing on the front, that's, that always makes me suspicious that it's worth looking at the back. So I'm just popping these bits and pieces on with these... Uh, Bits of foam pad. You see, I was cutting them up again, chibbling them up, as my mother would say. But uh, I like to have all these bits raised, just a little bit of dimension, particularly when um, there's only a small corner of the layout with any embellishments on. I really wanted to use that rainbow. I really thought it would be perfect, but I cannot find a place for it. It still may not made it over on the right to my um, not used pile, but uh, I think it does eventually. I wanted to keep the bits and pieces that I used in a bit like a rainbow order. I know I've used some purple over on the left, but um, it's connected with the blue, so that's okay. And I like the way that they, they flow across, still making the photo the focus. These three joint hearts are a puffy sticker and I really like them but um, it makes me smile. It's going to take me a while just to actually get them stuck down. I don't know why it took me so long but that's kind of the way that I scrap. I hope you've made yourself a cup of tea to watch this because it's uh, taken me a while just to get a couple of stickers in. Oh, see, it didn't even make it down. I love this glass mat from Tim Holtz. I use it to scrap on all the time. Um, I'm often sticking stickers and bits and pieces to the edge of it making it easy for them to peel off to reuse them it gives me a broad base to work from I, know, I don't know whether you've noticed but it's um, oh it's actually the right way up sometimes I turn it upside down because I'm left handed I quite sometimes I quite enjoy having the white bit on my left because that's where the pile of stuff and you can just about see my scissors but past that there's a big pile of stuff on my desk that I like to rummage through so uh, sometimes the glass mat ends up being the other way up particularly when I lift it off it's because it's slightly raised it hides lots of bits and pieces underneath that I, I always find when I'm cleaning not that that happens very often in my craft room anyway back to the layout here's the last few bits going on another little love heart which I think uh, totally suits this photograph And I think I'm a oh no, that's did I not typical. Pick it back up, put it back down. I thought I'd actually stuck those bits down, but no. Sounds like a joke. How long does it take to stick down a few bits of ephemera? I think that could be me done. Oh, yep, yeah, definitely. And I'll show you some close ups. Now you can see the stitching in position. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.